This video shows you how to set up your new printer with the 550 sheet tray and the 2 x 550 sheet tray. Note, this task requires a flathead screwdriver. Open the box. Remove the setup and safety information sheets, the power cord, and the cover for the right side of the printer. Remove the packaging material. Remove the plastic cover. Remove the pieces of tape around the printer. Lift the printer off the pallet. The printer requires four people to lift it. Continue removing the pieces of tape around the printer. Remove the plastic cover on the control panel. Preparing the 550 sheet tray. Open the box. Remove the accessories for the tray. Lift the tray out of the box. Remove the plastic cover. Remove the additional accessories and then remove the pieces of tape. Open door D and then continue removing the tape. Close door D. Open the tray and then remove the tape. Unpack the accessories for the tray. Preparing the 2 by 550 sheet tray. Open the box. Remove the packing material. Open the plastic cover and then slide the tray out. Remove the pieces of tape from the tray. Open tray 3, remove the accessories, and then remove the pieces of tape. Close tray 3. Open tray 4, and then remove the pieces of tape. Close tray 4. Unpack the accessories for the tray. Installing the 550 sheet tray and 2 by 550 sheet tray to the printer. Lock the caster to keep the tray from moving. Align the optional 550 sheet tray and then lower it into the 2 by 500 sheet tray. The printer has two handles and three finger recesses for lifting. The printer requires four people to lift it. Align the printer with the optional trays and then lower it into place. Pull out tray 1. Pull out tray 2. Install the screws.
Insert tray 2. Insert tray 1. Using the brackets and screws, secure the rear part of tray 2 to the printer. Using the brackets and screws, secure the rear part of the 2x550 sheet tray to tray 2. Open tray 1. Adjust the guides to match the size of the paper that you are loading. Flex, fan, and align the paper edges to avoid paper jams. Load paper into the tray. Make sure that the stack height is below the maximum paper fill indicator. Overfilling may cause paper jams. Close the tray. Connect one end of the power cord to the printer. To avoid the risk of fire or electrical shock, connect the other end of the power cord to an appropriately rated and properly grounded electrical outlet. Turn on the printer. Select the display language in your country or region, and then continue. Configure the setup options or set them up later, and then continue to finish the setup. The printer is now ready to use.